this is a fascinating little question. It's probably just as easy working out all of the probabilities uh, rather than just the specific ones that they ask. And that's what we'll do. So we have 52 cards and we want to know how many times more likely is it that we get exactly three aces next to each other in the randomly shuffled deck than all four aces next to each other. Is it 48 times, 49 times, 50 times, 51 times or 52 times more likely? OK, so let's have a look. Um, so we have four aces clearly so let's just put our four aces here and we have 48 other cards i'm not going to draw them all here's our 48 other cards okay now the possible ways that four aces can be arranged in that deck is either a four aces separate from each other i.e none of them next to each other b two aces next to each other and two separate c two aces next to each other and the other two aces next to each other d three aces next to each other and one separate and e all four aces next to each other in actual fact what the question asks is what is the probability of that happening divided by what is the probability of that happening which is uh, will give us one of the answers a b c d or e but it's just as easy working out the whole lot okay now there's a couple of things first of all uh, a deck of 52 cards there are 52 factorial ways of arranging those 52 cards and for the other 48 cards, there are 48 factorial ways of arranging the other 48 cards. And we're going to use that in all of these arrangements, working out the probabilities here. OK, so let's go with each one. So let's have a look. A, we're looking at the four aces separate. What is the probability that the four aces are going to be separate in a randomly shuffled deck of 52 cards? OK, well, here's our... Uh, four aces here there's the four aces and here da, 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 are the other 48 cards okay now this first ace here has 49 places it can go into remember it could go in front of the first card or it go behind the last card so that's 49 places and this one has therefore 48 places this one has 47 places and this one has 46 places to go and the 48 other cards have 48 factorial possibilities of being arranged and the entire sample space is 52 factorial therefore the probability that the four aces are separate is equal to 48 factorial over 52 factorial times 49 times 48 times 47 times 46. That is our first probability where all aces are separated from each other. Okay, so let's have a look at the second probability, which is that we have two aces together and the other two aces separated. Okay, and let's draw our 48 cards again. Whoops, that card's obviously been a bit bent. Um, okay, so here is our other 48 cards. And here we have two aces together, and then we have one ace and one ace. Um, so basically, let's have a look. These two aces together, they have 49 positions that they could go in. This one's therefore got 48, and this one's got 47. So therefore, the probability that two aces are together and the other two aren't... Oh, sorry, one other thing. <laughs> My apologies, this is really important. Because two aces are together here... How many choices do we have for that first ace? Well, we obviously have four choices for that first ace. And how many choices do we have for that second ace? We have three choices for that second ace. So therefore, we have to multiply by four by three. OK, so the, prob the, number, um, the probability that there's two aces and then one ace and one ace, again, is 48 factorial over 52 factorial. The 48 factorial being the number of ways the 48 other cards can be arranged. And the 52 factorial is the total number of ways that 52 cards can be arranged. Times by 49, which is the way of arranging the two cards. Times by 48, which is that one. Times by 47, which is that one times by four by times by three which is the number of ways that we can get the two cards two aces from the four aces and so that is our probability that we have two then one then one okay that's b how about c c we have two aces together and two other aces together this one's slightly trickier and here's our other 48 cards da, 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 da. Sorry that these cards aren't uh, rectangular. You have to forgive me there. So we've got 48 cards and we've got two aces and we've got two aces. Okay, right, we've got to be a bit careful here. We've got four choices for that ace. We've got three choices for that ace. We've got two choices for that ace. So that obviously equals four factorial. But 
we have to be careful because we have two aces here and two aces here we have to avoid double counting because we have to avoid for example the situation where we put these two aces here and these two aces here and then the other when we flip the aces round those two aces go there and those two aces go there so we have to divide by two factorial because there are two partitions of two and so therefore the probability that the aces split two together and the other two together is 48 factorial over 52 factorial which is the other 48 cards and all the 52 cards times by 49 which is the number of ways we can put that in times by 48 which is the number of ways we can put that in times by 4 factorial which is the number of ways that we can put those four cards divided by 2 factorial to avoid double counting and that is our third probability uh, oh, well, that was lucky. Okay, now our fourth probability is basically one of the ones that they're asking us, which is three aces together and one ace on its own. So let's draw again our 48 cards. One, two, three, four. Da, 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 da. Here's our other 48 cards. So we have three aces together and one on its own. So we have four ways of choosing that, three ways of choosing that, and two ways of choosing that, which is... 4 factorial. Again, here there are 48 factorial ways of, choose, of uh, arranging the other 48 cards, divided by 52 factorial, which is the total number of, uh, of ways of arranging all 52 cards, times by, this one here has 49 places it can go in, and the other one has 48 places that it can go in, and then we multiply by 4 factorial, and that is the probability that three aces are together. Okay, and, and finally, we have the fifth one, which is our fifth one, which is that all four aces are together. Okay, well, we have four probability, four, time, four ways of picking that one, three ways of picking that one, two ways of picking that ace, and one way of picking that, which again is four factorial. Uh, and let's pick our other 48 cards here. Da, 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 48 cards. There's the other 48 cards. So we have here, all four of them are the same. So basically we have, let's just move that up slightly, 48 factorial over 52 factorial, which is the ways of arranging the other 48 cards divided by the total sample space, times by 49, which is the way positions that we can put the four cards in, times by four factorial. And that is the probability that all four aces are together. Now, going back to our question... The question asks us, what is, how many times more likely is it that we get exactly three aces next to each other than all four aces next to each other? Okay, so all we need to do to, do to answer that is it is D, that is the probability that three aces are next to each other, divided by E, and that is the probability that all four aces are next to each other. And so basically we can see that we're going to have... Uh, 48 factorial over 52 factorial times 49 times 48 times 4 factorial, which is 24, divided by 48 factorial over 52 factorial times 49 times 4 factorial, and that cancels, that cancels, that cancels, that cancels, that cancels, that cancels, leaving us with the answer of 48. Therefore, it is 48 times more likely that you will get exactly three aces together than all four aces so the answer is a 48 now just as a check what we want to do is we want to add up all of these probabilities and they must come to one because we've, we've basically done every single possible combination of aces in a pack and it must come to one so what we're going to do is we're going to add this to this to this to this and to this and just check see if it does come to one so let's have a look. Basically, what do we have? So basically, all um, uh, what was it? All four aces separate was 48 factorial over 52 factorial times 49 times 48 times 47 times 46. That was the four aces separate. Add 48 over 50, 48 factorial over 52 factorial times 49 times 48 times 47 times four times three. That was two one one. Add. 48 factorial, and this is obviously going to uh, simplify a lot, over 52 factorial times 49 times 48 times 4 factorial over 2 factorial. That one was two aces and then another two aces. Add 
48 factorial over 52 factorial uh, times 49 times 48 times 4 factorial. That one was three aces together. And then finally add 48 factorial over 52 factorial times 49 times 4 factorial. That was all four aces together. Now what we can do, this must come to one, it better add, we can take out 48 factorial over 52 factorial and we can also take out 49 as a factor and that leaves us with 48 times 47, ugh, my apologies, 48 times 47 times 46, add 48 times 47 times 12, add 48 times 12, add 48 times 24, add 24, my apologies for that. And that basically equals, well, that's obviously 49 factorial over 52 factorial. Basically, is 1 over 50 times 51 times 52 times by uh, 48 times 47 times 46, 48 times 47 times 12. That gives us 48 times 47 times 58. Add uh, 48 times 12, add 48 times 24 is 48 times 36. Add 24 and that equals 1 over 132600 times by 130848 add 1728 add 24 and that equals 1. So phew we've got basically all of the probabilities are correct and the probabilities add up to 1. Um, for anybody who's looking for a more practical uh, um, something to learn out of this um, out of this video basically the probability that the four aces are all separate is approximately 0.7826 the probability that two aces are together and the other two are separate is about 0.2041 the probability that two aces are together and another two aces are together but they are separated is 0 0.043, 0 0.0043. The probability that three aces are together and the other one isn't is about 0 0.0086. Now that surprised me, I must admit, I thought it would be uh, uh, more likely that there would be two and two rather than three and one, but there we go, it shows what I know. Uh, and then the last one, all four aces together, the probability of that is approximately 0 0.0002. OK, well, I hope you found this useful. Um, it's certainly great um, practice for counting uh, and probabilities in sample space as well, um, especially doing all of the probabilities and checking that they add up to one. If you found this useful, um, then please like this video and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.